Lie down in Makrasana with your big toe together, hands on top of each other and face relaxing on the hand. Can rest in Makrasana for as long as you can, as long as you feel comfortable. This is very good relaxation asana. And also while we're doing the asana practice, whenever you need relaxation, you can go ahead and lie down in this position, this asana and rest is good for your back, it's massaging your abdominal organ, the lower abdomen. And then bring your arms out, shoulder wide, forehead down. And then inhale, bringing your right hand, left leg, head up as high as you can. And then bend your knee, bring your hand back, hold the ankle and lift the leg as high up as comfortable you can. Gently pressing with the hand to give a bit more push. Exhale down. Change the leg. So bringing your left hand, right leg, head up. And then gently bend your knee, bring your hand back, hold your ankle and push with your hand slightly to lift up, giving a deeper stretch. Exhale down. Now if you feel tired, you can go ahead into Makrasana and rest or continue. Bringing your hand under the shoulder, forehead down. Pushing with your hands, lifting your head up, shoulders up, chest up and arching your back. And then relaxing your shoulder, attacking your elbows by the side, look forward or slightly up. Holding for between 5 seconds up to 20 seconds, whatever your body allows you to do. Come down when you need. Go back into Makrasana and rest so that your body is ready for the next asana. Relaxing can be between 5 seconds to up to 30 seconds, depending on how tired you feel. So bringing your hand under the body. Hands, the elbows all the way in, chin forward, chin out. Then inhale, lift your right leg up. Exhale down. Inhale, left leg up. Exhale down. The right leg up. Down. And the left leg up. Down. And then bring your hands out. Bending your knees. Forehead down. Hold your ankles. Then inhale, lift your legs up, head up, shoulders up, stand on the abdomen. Push as higher as you can comfortably. Don't tense your body, don't strain and breathe. Come down whenever you need. And go back and rest in Makrasana, Crocodile Pose. After that, push with your hands. Sit up onto your heels, feet, open your knees and extend your chest all the way down onto the ground forehead down make sure the thadai area is pressing on the ground to give nice stimulation onto your thadai
setup that was the preparation for going back backside and open your knees bring your heel away from the buttocks and then gently roll yourself down all the way lifting your hips up and all the way down to give nice stretch onto your abdominal area the this part and also onto your back either you can have your hand by the side this way or if you want to get give further deeper stretch then bring your hands around over the head tuck your chin to the chest Whenever you want to come back, hold your legs with your hands, supporting your elbows onto the ground, pushing on the ground, come up and then sit up all the way onto your legs, onto your feet and then bringing your hand around the navel, lift the chest slightly up so that there is nice space into this area and then bringing your hand around the navel, inhale with exhale, bend forward all the way down, bringing your forehead onto the ground if possible. And rest. And you will come back up and then you can roll down to practice the savasana for as long as you want whether five minutes ten minutes however however tired you're feeling so let's have the feet apart body on the ground completely tuck your stomach in slightly so that your back is touching the ground hands by the side and go ahead, relax for as long as you want. 